Hey everyone, I was thinking about what video to do and I thought it could be quite fun and interesting for all of you if I talk about the beauty treatments that I get done and when I get them done, what they're like, are they worth it? And so I'm going to talk about that and it might, if any of you have been thinking about getting these things done, it might give you, um, might help you to make a decision on whether you do it or not. One of the first things is Botox. I've been getting Botox now for a long time and I really do recommend it actually because it's worked for me. Um, so the way Botox works is it doesn't change how your face looks. It's not like filler that changes the way your face looks. Botox literally paralyzes the muscles which stops you being able to make micro movements or any movements at all. And that um, allows the skin to not have any wrinkles and it really smooths it out. Now I actually do it as a preventative and I have it done roughly every four months, although I'm really due it at the moment. As you can see, I've got all my <laughs> movement. I'm really due it at the moment, but um, yeah, it, it just works. And it's something that does have risks. You know, if you go to someone who's not a pro at it, you can end up with, you know, like brow droop and stuff like that. But the great thing is with Botox, it doesn't last. It only lasts, say, four, three or four months and then it's gone. And I, I think one of the things that I learned about it early on is that by getting it done, I feel like it's protected my skin. I feel like it's kept my skin looking good. And I really know when I need to have it done because the skin on my forehead starts to look more textured. Whereas when I've had Botox, it looks like I've used an iron on it. It looks so smooth and it really makes a difference to your face. Um, you can, if you have brow, like a lower brow, you can have your eyebrows lifted. I don't like that. I just like to keep them um, how they are. But I get it in my forehead, 11 lines and around my eyes. And honestly, it, it just works. Um, and I don't want to tempt anyone into doing something that's not right for you. But in my opinion, uh, it, it works and it's really good. The next thing that I've had done, although I haven't had this done in a long time and I could do with actually having a treatment, is I have laser. And if you've been with me a while, you might have seen videos where I vlogged it. So I've gone along to the laser and I go to the same place, Dr. Joni D'Souza, which is in uh, Marylebone in London. And they have got so many different types of laser there, depending on your skin complaint. So I used to have a lot of hyperpigmentation, like darker patches on my skin. Um, I don't have that anymore. And my goal was always to get to a point where I didn't have to wear foundation because I don't like foundation, particularly when it starts like getting around your nose and breaking up and going patchy. I've always wanted to be able to just put on eyebrows, eyelash, you know, do my mascara and lips. Um, and maybe some bronzer kind of on the side, but I always wanted to get to a point where I didn't have to do foundation. And laser is a really good way of doing it. And depending on your skin condition, there are so many different types of lasers. There's ones that tighten, there's ones that address hyperpigmentation, there's ones that address uh, texture or enlarged pores. And I have had non-ablative, so you do need to understand a bit about laser before you have it done. Some lasers, go really deep down into the dermis and others are more superficial and on the top level. And some are a long downtime and others are shorter. The longer the downtime, so the longer it takes for you to heal, the better the result. Like no downtime, you're still gonna get a good result, but it's not gonna be as dramatic. And with laser, laser again is quite subtle. I feel as though laser in many ways is quite similar to Botox where you're not going to step out of the house and people are going to go, oh my God, what have you done? People are just going to be like, wow, your skin looks good. That, that's really how I would best describe it. But I get non-ablative, um, fractional laser, I think is what it is. But if you go along to a laser clinic, tell them your skin problem and they will recommend the best laser for you because what I've had done for what I wanted to correct will probably be different for you. Um, and if you go to that clinic in London that I've told you about, they're really good. They kind of tell you what you need and what you don't need. Hair. Hair, I know you could say this isn't really, well, it is cosmetic. So what I have done with my hair, and I actually had it done yesterday, is every four weeks I have 
them put a clear gloss on the ends of my hair and it first of all it feels like it thickens your hair up but I guess because it puts like a coating on it but also it gives your hair the most amazing glossy healthy looking finish and that's something that I've been doing for probably 10 years now just every four weeks go in can you put a gloss on my hair give me a haircut um, and that really works as well now for semi-permanent makeup and again a lot of you if you've been with me a while you'll already know about this because I have actually taken you with me and vlogged this as well but I have had my eyebrows microbladed and I've had uh, my lips had like a lip blush so the way this works I'm sure loads of you know about microblading but microblading they can do your lips as well so if you don't have a very prominent border if like the the tone of your lips is, is like patchy and you want it to be more balanced and more solid so that when you don't wear any lipstick you can actually see the full shape of your lips a lip blush is really good for that it gives you definition and it gives you I would say it gives you confidence to go out with no makeup on at all because your lips just look amazing after you've had it done the cost of it is around about 450 pounds to 500 pounds depend on where you go and you need to have two sessions when you have the first session the results are good but you really need the second one otherwise I find that it fades down quite a lot so you do need two and it depends on where you go but a lot of the time you pay one price and you get the second session discounted in with the price if you sort of mean I was really worried about getting my eyebrows microbladed because that's what I did first got my eyebrows microbladed and I was excited but so nervous in case it hurt and I was mind blown because it didn't hurt at all I promise you they start by numbing your eyebrow and once it's numb they use it's kind of like if you imagine a pen but the nib on the end of the pen is like three tiny little combs like blades but like a comb and they mix up an eyebrow color that matches your skin tone and also your hair and then what they do is they dip the nib into the ink and they draw on individual hair strokes again you need more than one session when you're going to get microblading because it can fade down once it's healed it can really fade down so you do need a couple of sessions but I would massively recommend both of those things just gives you so much confidence and particularly if you've plucked your eyebrows out and you don't have much many eyebrows left you can get a really natural look and it looks like you've got your eyebrows again then for nails I get my nails done every two weeks but I do them myself I used to go and get them done but in a video that I think will already have been live by now I was talking about how I used to actually waste a lot of money and one of the things that I did that to me was a waste is was getting my nails done because I figured out that I could actually do them from from home for free and you know when you're getting them done every two weeks because they grow out a lot that really adds up that's a lot of money per year on something that although it's a chore you can do it yourself uh, acrylics etc probably no well you could give it a bash but I just have like straight gel nails and they're really easy to do and as I say like every two weeks I do my nails and I get so annoyed it, when they start growing out I'm like oh I have to get them done immediately like it drives me mad and then for teeth this one I thought you might find interesting so with my teeth I have had Invisalign did that a long time ago now I actually did that 10 years ago best money I ever spent I had crooked teeth slightly crooked not really bad but they I wanted them perfectly straight so I visited so many dentists and loads of dentists said oh we want to do train tracks and I was like look I've got a professional full-time job I can't go into the office with train tracks on looking like 12 I need to I need to do something that is subtle and Invisalign was around at the time and I went to a dentist who said look we can use Invisalign we'll give you I'll show you you basically get you can't even see it it's like a see-through retainer brace and every two weeks you change up the brace to a new one and every brace you put on is slightly straighter than the last one and 
But before you know it, you get to the last retainer, your teeth are straight, they put a fixed wire on the back of them, they give you a retainer to keep your teeth in their position, and you're done. And as I say, it was the best money I spent ever. I couldn't stop smiling after I had it done. I just thought, why didn't I do this years ago? Although I didn't do it years before because I couldn't have afforded it. But the great thing as well is that I didn't have to pay for it all in one go. I paid a deposit. Then every two weeks when I went to the dentist to collect the new braces, I paid a bit towards the total. I think I paid like, how much did I pay? I can't remember how much I paid per month. I think it was about 200 pounds. But it depends on how many braces you need to get your teeth straight. So um, yeah, look into that. But the other thing I do is I have um, had my teeth whitened and they give you a whitening kit to take home. And then what you can do is with your retainer, you put the whitening gel into the retainer and you sleep in it and it keeps your teeth amazing. I actually haven't done it in a couple of weeks. I need to do it. I drink loads of coffee, so I need to like keep on top of it. You can't buy the whitening stuff online. There is an online website that I used to buy from, but that when I looked on Trustpilot, so I bought from there, and the whitening stuff I bought did nothing. And I, I looked on Trustpilot and people were saying, questioning whether the stuff on this website was actually genuine. And then when I looked it up, it said that in the UK, you're, you're not allowed to sell tooth whitening. It's a prescription thing that only your dentist can give you. And it made me think, oh, I wonder whether what they're selling actually isn't the real thing, because it did nothing for me. Whereas if I go to the dentist and I get an actual whitening kit, I, it's, your teeth are white overnight. Massive, massive difference. So if you're thinking about getting your teeth whitened, go along to your dentist they will normally do an in-house whitening on you which takes a couple of hours and it's where they cover up your gums with like a protective solution they put the whitening paste on all of your teeth and they sit you with a uv light kind of on your mouth then after they give you the kit to take home and the at-home kit is maintenance and then you can just keep buying syringes of the product as you go and it's brilliant and for me the syringe is about 75 pounds ago so i paid i think i paid about 200 pounds to have my teeth whitened and then i just the kit will last me several months and then i just go back 75 pounds buy more of the gel done so there are the things that i have done and the things that i really recommend are worth it. I can do a video on skincare if you're into that because I do think skincare is massively important as well but when it comes to cosmetic procedures um, there that's what I've done. Um, I also had um, breast implants but that was 10 years ago as well and I did that because I, I had nothing before and I swim a lot and it used to make me so paranoid when I went swimming and then I, I decided to bite the bullet and get it done um, and again, it was one of the best things ever and it means as well. You can wear strapless dresses and you look amazing. Compared to like before when I, I had like not a lot going, um, it, it looks amazing. So they're the things that I've done. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've just enjoyed watching. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.